basically this, the, the idea that when you hit it with your fingers, your three fingers, let your fingers rest on the head. And don't hit it hard, hit it soft. Let them rest on it. Don't let it bounce off. Then you have a muted sound. And the other one, this finger here, with the wrist action spinning, let it hit and bounce off. And then you have the ding sound. You want to zoom in? Yeah. Okay. So, the three fingers touching it and resting on it. And the other finger with the wrist bouncing off. And that makes the ding sound. And when you're drumming, what makes a good drummer, besides knowing the beats and how to play and having decent rhythm, what makes a good drummer is how clear your hit is. So a lot of people that have very kitschy style hits, it just sounds like popcorn. But if you make it very clear, then even if you go fast, it should still sound very clear. Very distinct hits. And it's the same principle for this side. Same principle. Basically, the fingers hit and they land on it and they don't bounce off. So you don't even have to hit hard. It's not necessary to play Murdunga very hard. Um, a lot of people think you have to bang it, but actually if you just play it softly, it begins to play you. So, just like that, soft. And then the same principle to bounce off, but you have to move your hand back. Let it hit with this part here on the edge. And let your fingers just bounce off the... just like that. And so with those four sounds, this one and this one, you can do an unlimited variety of beats. <coughs>